فاشرف بي لاشتغال بالعلم ولا تبغي به ما عشت يا دا بدلا ويا له من شرف عظيم الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له يقول الحق وهو يهدي السبيل واشهد ان سيدنا ونبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى اله واصحابه والتابعين لهم باحسان الى يوم الدين اما بعد we are in the explanation of the kitab دفع دفع ايهام للضراب عن ايات الكتاب written by the noble sheikh al allama Muhammad al amin ibn Muhammad al mukhtar ibn Abdul Qadir al jakaniy al shinqiti rahimahullah we are at the seventh um, verse which um, can have or can be taken from it a contradiction an apparent contradiction which in reality as we mentioned the quran does not have a contradiction in its re- in its original essence the contradiction is always nisbi is subjective it's based on the person as for the quran in its meaning in its real meaning it doesn't from those verses is the one the sheikh brought is qawluhu ta'ala the statement of allah summun bukmun umyun fa hum la yarji'un the sheikh says hadhihi al-ayatu يدل ظاهرها على أن المنافقين لا يسمعون ولا يتكلمون ولا يبصرون وقد جاء في آيات أخر وقد جاء في آيات أخر ما يدل على خلاف ذلك كقوله تعالى ولو شاء الله لذهب بسمعهم وأبصارهم وكقوله وإن يقولوا تسمع لقولهم أي لفصاحتهم وحلاوة ألسنتهم وقوله فإذا ذهب الخوف سلقوكم بألسنة حداد إلى غير ذلك من الآيات ووجه الجمع ظاهر وهو أنهم بكم عن النطق بالحق أنهم بكم أنهم بكم عن النطق بالحق وإن تكلموا بغيره صم عن سماع الحق وان سمعوا غيره عمي عن رؤيه الحق وان راوا غيره وقد بين تعالى هذا الجمع بقوله وجعلنا لهم سمعا وابصارا وافئده الايه لان ما لا يغني شيئا فهو كالمعدوم والعرب ربما اطلقت الصمم على السماع الذي لا اثر له ومنه قول قعن بن ام صاحب صم اذا سمعوا خيرا ذكرت به وان ذكرت بسوء عندهم اذن وقول الشاعر اصم عن الامر الذي لا اريده واسمع واسمع خلق الله حين اريد وقول الاخر فاصممت عمرا واعميته عن الجود والفخر يوم الفخار وكذلك الكلام الذي لا فائده فيه فهو كالعدم قاله بيره بن ابي وهب المخزومي وان كلام المرء في غيره وان كلام المرء في غيره كنهه وان كلام المرء في غير كنهه لكان النبل اما لكان النبل تهوي ليس فيها نصالها لكان لكان بل تهوي ليس فيها نصالها What does your say? What does your say? What does your say? No. The seventh point, which is قوله تعالى the statement of Allah صم بكم العمي فهم لا يرجعون صم they are deaf 
umyun they are blind fahum la yarjiuna they do not come back هذه الآية this verse يدل ظاهرها from the apparent it shows على أن المنافقين that the hypocrites لا يسمعون that they don't hear ولا يتكلمون and that they do not speak ولا يبصرون and they and that they do not um, see so this verse has shown us that the munafiqeen they don't hear and they do not speak and they don't see وقد جاء في آيات أخر in other verses that have come it has indicated ما يدل على خلاف ذلك opposite to that meaning meaning that they do hear they do see and they do speak an example for that is كقوله تعالى the statement of Allah ولو شاء الله if Allah willed لذهب بسمعهم Allah تبارك وتعالى will take their hearing from them وأبصارهم and their seeing وكقوله and if and another example for it is the speech of Allah وإن يقولوا when they speak تسمع لقولهم and you hear their speech أي لفصاحتهم وحلاوة ألسنتهم eloquency and the sweetness in their speech when they speak وقوله أن the statement of Allah فإذا ذهب الخوف سلقوكم بألسنة حداد which is that they speak سلقوكم and they utter words and they speak نعم إلى غير ذلك من الآيات other than those verses that all indicate that they speak they hear and that they see so how do we reconcile these evidences? If somebody comes up to you and say, says to you, the Qur'an contradicts itself, how? Here you have Allah saying, Summum, bukmun, umyun, fahum la yirji'un. They are deaf, dumb and blind. Huh? But here we have them, here we have verses that showing us that they do hear, and that they do speak. So how would you reconcile between the two? وَوَجْهُ الْجَمْعِ ظَاهِرٌ the way to reconcile between it is apparent. It's easy. It's nothing hard. And it is They are unable to speak. They are unable to speak the truth. Even though they can speak other than the truth. So the, the thing that Allah is saying to them, subhanahu wa ta'ala, that they are what? Bukm from is what? عَنِ النُطْقِ بِالْحَقِّ in speaking the truth. وَإِن تَكَلَّمُوا بِغَيْرِهِ Even that though they can speak other than it. سُمٌ They are deaf. From what? Like in عَنْ سَمَاعِ الْحَقِّ The hearing the truth. وَإِن سَمِعُوا غَيْرَهُ Even if they can hear other things. عُمْيٌ They are blind. عَنْ رُؤْيَةِ الْحَقِّ Seeing the truth. وَإِن رَأُوا غَيْرَهُ Even that though they can see other than the truth. So when Allah is saying that they are they are unable to speak, they're mute. And they're also um, blind. And they are also deaf. All of them is referring to when it comes to the truth. But other than that, they are not deaf. And they are not mute. And they're also not blind from it. They have it. So all of those three is what's meant by it. They are mute from speaking the truth. وَإِن تَكَلَّمُوا بِغَيْرِهِ Even that they can speak other than it. سُمٌ عَنْ سَمَاعِ الْحَقِّ They are deaf from hearing the truth. And they are وَإِن سَمِعُوا غَيْرَهُ عُمْيٌ عَنْ رُؤْيَةِ الْحَقِّ They are blind from seeing the truth. وَإِن رَأُوا غَيْرَهُ Even that they can see other than it. وَقَدْ بَيَّنَ تَعَالَى هَذَا الْجَمْعِ بِقَوْلِهِ All of those three, Allah has already told us in one verse. That is what's referring to is the truth. Which is قَوْلُهُ تَعَالَى The statement of Allah. وَجَعَلْنَا لَهُمْ سَمْعًا We have made for them what? Hearing. وَأَبْصَارًا And we have also made for them what? Huh? Eyes. وَأَفْئِدَ أَنَا هَاتْ وَجَعَلْنَا لَهُمْ سَمْعًا وَأَبْصَارًا وَأَفْئِدَ We have made for them all of those three. But those three haven't benefited them. لِأَنَّ مَا لَا يُغْنِي شَيْئًا فَهُوَ كَالْمَعَدُومِ Even that Allah gave it to them, He said, I gave those three to them. They are still not able to benefit from it. Because the eyes has to take you to the truth. 
And if it doesn't take you to the truth, it doesn't benefit you. So his presence is like his absence. Again, the same is with the hearing. Your hearing should be something that takes you to the truth. Or you should be able to hear the truth. If you're not hearing the truth, having your hearings is of no benefit. So it's ma'adumi, like you don't have it. And, and, and also speaking the truth. If you're not able to speak the truth, then the utterance and the speech that you have is not of, is not of benefits. Naam. Wal Arabu the Arabs. Rubama atlakati samama ala sama illedi la atharalahu. The Arabs sometimes they refer to and they use the word samam, which is to be deaf. Ala sima'i when it comes to hearing, alledi la atharalahu, when it has no effect on a person. If you're advising a person and you're telling them something and they're not taking it on board, the Arabs refer to that person as what? A person who's deaf. Huh? Even in English, don't they say it's falling on deaf ears? Is that oxymoron? Deaf ears. Then the asal of the ear is that to hear, right? To hear, right? So you're saying it's falling onto deaf ears. In other words, he's hearing, but he's deaf. How is that possible? Sahih. And he says, qawlu. And this is like the statement of uh, the Arabs. And he brings an example of the Arabs saying this. قَوْلُ قَعَنَّ بِبْنِ أُمِّ الصَّاحِبٍ He says, سُمٌ They are deaf. إِذَا سَمِعُوا خَيْرًا When they hear good. ذُكِرْتُ بِهِ In which I mentioned in it. وَإِذَا ذُكِرْتُ بِسُوءٍ So whenever, are you with me, they are deaf when I am mentioned in, in a good light. They're deaf. They don't even hear that. وَإِن ذُكِرْتُ بِسُوءٍ And if I am mentioned in evil na, عِنْدَهُمْ أَذِنُوا They have ears now. They can hear. They understand it. They, they, they know it. So this bait is سبحر البسيط You see? سبحر البسيط As you can see from the form. It's قَعْنَ بِبْنُ مُصَاحِبٍ Who said it uh, in his book لُبَابِ uh, الْآدَابِ You can find it is written by ابن منقذ رحمه الله also, Al-Sihah, Imam Al-Jawhari, Rahimahullah, brings it. If you want, Tibrizi has a kitab called Sharhu Diwan Al-Hamasa, where he explains the Diwan Al-Hamasa Abu Atahiyya. The name Ummi Sahibina is his mother's name. His father's name is Damrah. His father's name is Damrah. Also, there's an actual book written, written by Ibn Habib, Rahimah. Ibn Habib wrote a book, uh, a book, he wrote a book which he called it Man ila ummihi min al-shu'ara People who have been named after their mothers from the poets. Uh, Abdi Salam Harun who was one of the muhaqqiqin scholars who specialize in tahqiqat of kutub is a book called Nawadir al He also brings this in it. وَقَوْلُ الشَّاعِرِ and also the statement of the poet أصم عن الأمر الذي لا أريده. They are deaf. Sorry, they are deaf. They are. They are deaf. عن الأمر الذي لا أريده in the matters which I do not want. وأسمع خلق الله. And they are the most hearing of people. حين أريده. Huh? In the things which I want. Bayda we use it as istishad and also kashaf as Makhshari brings it. وقول الآخر another statement of another person. So the 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 one which is أصم على الأمر الذي لا أريده وأسمع خلق الله حين أريده is بحر الطويل. فأصممت عمرا وأعميته عن الجود والفخر يوم الفخار. This is also a close uh, meaning to the previous one. Um, and also is mentioned by Ibn Qutayba in his Kitab Al-Ma'ani Al-Kabir. Gharib Al-Hadith Khattabi brings it. Khasais Ibn Al-Jinni. Muhkam Ibn Sayyidi. What does he mean? فَأَصْمَمْتُ عَمْرًا وَأَعْمَيْتُهُ فَأَصْمَمْتُ عَمْرًا وَأَعْمَيْتُهُ It means صَادَفْتُهُ أَصَمًا وَأَعْمًا صَادَفْتُهُ أَصَمْ وَأَعْمًا 
عن الجود والفخر عن الفخاري as I said this statement Qutayba brings it غريب الحديث خطابي brings it خصائص ابن جني نعم ابن جني brings it محكم ابن سيدي he brings it um, and as I said it's close to the meaning of the previous uh, line of poetry وكذلك الكلام الذي لا فائدة فيه the statement that doesn't have no benefit if a statement does not have any benefit the Arabs also refer to it like that لا فائدة فيه فهو كالعدم it's like like it's like something that doesn't exist. قال هبيرة بن أبي وهب المخزومي. He says, وإن كلام المرء في غير كنه. The statement of a person that doesn't really have its weight. كالنبل تهوي ليس فيها نصالها. It's like a nibble that does not have no nisal at all. It's like a nibble that doesn't hold a nisal. This is بيت من الطويل لهبيرة بن أبي وهب المخزومي زبيري رحمه الله brings it in his نسب قريش ابن هشام brings it بيان تبيين اشتقاق ابن دريد روض الأنف you find it there شربيني also brings it in his سراج المنير في الإعانة على فهم بعض كلام بعض معاني كلام ربنا الحكيم الخبير ابن حيان uses it many times in his Bahr al-Muhit and Alusi in his Ruh al-Ma'ani so that's the evidence that's the that's the response for the first evidence for the first uh, sorry the seventh uh, apparent contradictions that are put forward Inshallah ta'ala, next sit we're going to do the 8th and then the 9th and then the 10th and we'll carry on bi idhnillah al kareem Anything which I have said that was wrong فَإِنَّهُ مِنِّي وَمِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ وَاللَّهُ وَرَسُولُهُ بَرِئَانِ مِنْ سُبْحَانَكَ اللَّهُمَّ بِحَمْدِكَ أَشَهْدُ أَنْ لَا إِلَهِ إِلَّا اللَّهِ أَسْتَغْفِرُكَ وَأَتُوبُ إِلَيْ